Hi, my name is Helen Pinio and I'm the Bream Communities Manager. I'm here on the BRE Innovation Park to give you an introduction to the updated Bream Communities Scheme. Bream Communities is a standard that helps developers, planners, and design teams achieve sustainable designs and plans for a large-scale development. The standard covers economic, social, and environmental sustainability, assessing issues like housing provision, transport networks, community facilities, and economic impact. It makes sure that sustainability is considered at the very early stages of design, where site-wide solutions can have a big impact. Bream Communities was originally launched in 2008. This updated version is significantly streamlined. It focuses on process and outcomes rather than prescriptive design solutions. We've done a lot to bring the standard in line with the rest of the Bream schemes to simplify the overall Bream process. The revised scheme has moved away from setting assessment criteria based on regional and national planning policy. We now use evidence from research and best practice guidance to inform the standard. The Bream building standards require detailed information from the design team that shows how the building will perform against a variety of issues like energy, pollution and health and well-being. The assessment criteria in Bream communities are similar, but they cover a wider range of social and economic sustainability issues. If a developer achieves credits in the Bream Communities Scheme, they can also use those credits to support a building level assessment. Developers have told us that using Bream Communities actually saves money on the overall costs of the development by focusing the design team to consider site-wide solutions. We're also trying to help the design team break the pattern of silo working so for example, in a place like this, where you can see the public realm, we want to get ecologists working with a landscape architect to think about how the public realm can contribute to the creation of a wildlife habitat. Developers that use Bream building level assessments and the Code for Sustainable Homes will also be able to use the studies and designs from this stage of planning for building assessments further down the line. Local authorities can make use of Bream communities to ensure that key sustainability issues have been fully considered in the preparation of outline and detailed planning applications for large schemes. The standard can be required through local planning policy. This is a tool that helps a case officer agree with the developer what a major development proposal can achieve. This reduces the volume of paperwork that the case officer needs to sift through and it will also be a valuable way of explaining the sustainability credentials of a development to the community or an elected member on the planning committee. The 2012 scheme is UK-wide and can be used in England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Developments outside of the UK can also use the scheme. They would need to do a bespoke assessment. This means that BRE Global would use a process of changing the assessment criteria to address local circumstances. We are currently undertaking pilot projects until the new year to test out a new process to do bespoke assessments. There are a number of Bream Communities assessors who can take developers through the standard now, and a list of these can be found on Green Book Live. For a full introduction, you can attend the first day of our assessor training course. This is a standalone module that planners, developers, and consultants can attend to understand the scope, timing, and technical aspects of the scheme. And finally, thank you for listening to this introduction. More information, case studies, and how to become an assessor can be found on our website at bream.org forward slash communities.